Okay, so last bits of the block to come out. Parts. Got the oil oil feed. They screw into the um, the block. There's four of them. Clean them out thoroughly. They do come apart. One, two, three, four. Got a rubber seal there. Rubber O-ring there. Um, I have got a um, detergent degreaser all over it. That's why it's a little bit rusty where it wasn't a few days ago. Uh, make sure you take your, um, you come this far, take all your freeze plugs out, Welsh plugs. Um, this is going to go on the acid bath soon. Come around to this side and there's a fair bit of rusty scale in there. The cylinders they don't look that good at the moment but they are pretty good. Just going to give them a light honing. There was no ma major rust or pitting or anything. No big grooves. Really happy. Turn it back over. No, I won't turn it back over. I'll just come around here. So the oil cooler. As you can see, the scale in there as well. So I don't know how long it was sitting before it actually stopped, or well, it's been stopped and sitting. But there's 440,000 on the dash, so. Okay. There's one, two, three, four nuts here that go through and hold that um, oval plate on, I'm pretty sure. A couple of O-rings there. And that'll probably take that off as well and clean it up. So yes, that's pretty much it. Um, what else? Main cap, it's all pretty well cleaned up, ready to go. New bearings, waiting for new bearings to go in. Bit of scarring, bad scarring, wear. So, with the Welsh plugs, freeze plugs. Looks pretty good from the outside, and that's not too bad. I don't know if they were replaced at some stage, I doubt it. It's another one. Another one there. Little ones. And there's a couple of these baby ones. And just take your time getting them out. That one there. Oh, this was stuffed it up, so I had to tap it and put a bolt in, and luckily the bolt then uh, turned and released it out. But I just used the old screwdriver method. There's a lot of videos on it, and you just get it on a good angle on the very lip. Punch, punch, punch and then you can go from the top and wedge it out or pry it out I should say so that's where I'm up to acid bath over there this is bits and pieces I've got to clean up still waiting for the bearings of course piston rings I've got to clean the pistons up new piston rings on the way cranks under here Cleaned, ready to go. You see all to go into there. I think that's the rear main. Yeah, there's a seal there. There's a gasket kit. 
full of goodies, O-rings, um, tapper cover or rocker cover seal, head gasket, heaps of gaskets. Um, this was really good, like well, 66 bucks eBay. Head bolts underneath. Um, I think that's uh, another head gasket kit. Um, no, that's the. I don't know what that is. What have we got? What have we got? Yeah. Head kit. Okay, and then I've got the new cylinder head, of course, in there. Um, the other cylinder head outside had four cracks in it. It was going to cost me $1,900 to get um, um, rebuilt, basically, stripped down, repaired. This on eBay I got for, I think it was 900 bucks complete, everything, um, except I think your, um, oh, your plugs, heater plugs and injectors of course but um, yeah good bargain yeah some of the old um, bearings so that's where I'm up to and yeah that's the old head over there underneath it's got um, four cracks or so so um, yeah those um, plugs will take you out and the injectors put on a new one Okay, I will get into the rest of it. Until then, hasta la vista. There goes off. Okay, out of the um, acid bath. And uh, I hosed it all thoroughly yesterday afternoon. Hosed it all out. Um, blew it out with air and then put the um, uh, dryer on it so um, just a um, not a hair dryer but a um, uh, a dryer <laughs> I can't think of what it's called <laughs> heat gun heat gun so that was all scaled up in there in there it's only surface rust, I'm going to hit it with the, uh, the wire wheel in a minute and uh, then do the surfaces um, with a bit of wet and dry and um, continue just cleaning it and prepping it for the bearings to go back in. The um, new bearings, I've got them already, they'll be going in. Got new Welsh plugs. Um, so yeah, the main cap there, that'll go on next with new bearings. With the crank, of course. So, a bit more prep. And go all the way around. And that's come up really good inside. That was just completely scaled out. Down in there, the same, it's come up really good. And uh, I've actually sprayed and left it overnight a, um, a rust convert. So, like here where it's gone dark, I've sprayed in the chambers. Whether it's going to help or not, might slow it down. Um, yeah, it was a spray can type converter, it's pretty good. Rehone them and uh, yeah, start reassembly very soon. Excellent. <laughs> 